All right, guys, so today I'm gonna put in a tachometer in the Chevelle. So this is just your generic Bosch brand. I got it from Amazon. It's like 60 bucks or something like that. So they're all pretty much the same, but I figured I'd make a quick video on it. So this is just a standard kind of four wire hookup. On the back, it's got a little switch there. So you do four, six, or eight cylinder. Pretty simple. Four wires on it. There's gonna be a wiring diagram in here, but they're all pretty much the same. Black is ground, red is switch power, white is hooked up to your lights so it'll illuminate and uh, green is the signal wire so it goes to the coil <clears throat> so that's that all i'm really gonna need for tools is gonna be hose clamp a big one i only have a big one so i have two small ones together i'm just gonna clamp it to the steering column <clears throat> some electrical tape and a couple of nut drivers and some wire strippers and a little uh ripper. i think it comes with <clears throat> whatever i'll need there for fittings and stuff but uh yeah I'll get started, I'll get it kind of placed on the column where I want it. I'll show you guys step by step how to do it. So I've got the tack kind of roughed in where I want it. The wires are obviously going at the back. I put this little loom that came with it. But then uh, down here you can see all the wires are still there. Uh, I put it on the left side so I'll still be able to see you know, most of the speedometer and all that. Life will be good. Uh, I nicked the clamp so I could still get full turn signalings. I wanted the tachometers. Uh, close to me as possible because with the column shift this part of the column moves and you put it in a gear so I made sure I'm not going to interfere with that the tachometer will be fine I end up taking this little kick panel off the bottom and this thing I'm going to run the wire through there and uh, yeah that's pretty much that the only thing I have to do I need to get one big clamp so I'll just have the uh, one screw head because I have one on top one on the bottom it looks kind of tacky but yeah that's it so now I'm left with these different wires so I'll uh, crawl in here and kind of show you guys where they're going to go. But uh, yeah, the install is done. Now it's just a wiring up. Okay, so now we're under the dash at the little fuse box. And what we're going to try and find is we need to find the red wire. We need switch power, so that's with the key on. And with the white wire, we need power when the headlights are on. So, I have the, currently have the key on right now. I have the test light hooked up so you can see the little light started. And as I turn off the ignition, the light goes off, ignition back on, light goes on. So this is where I'm gonna tag in right there. A little speed clip for my switched power. And I gotta do the same thing again, just go through and find power when the headlights are on. And I'll wire the white one up as well. Where I've actually tagged in to grab a ground for the test light, I'll probably just tag the ground in right there. And then all I have to do is get the green wire through the firewall and a grommet, and I'll show you what to do under the hood. All right, guys, here's where we're at. I got two wires hooked up loose. I got the uh, ground running around there, and then the green wire I tucked around, and it goes through this little grommet in the firewall. So that'll go into the engine bay. So once I get all that done, and I'm happy with it. I'll just kind of zip tie this up out of the way and it'll look just fine. So I'll get under the hood and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this green wire. So under the hood, this is the green wire coming through the firewall and this little grommet. I already terminated it and I hooked up the distributor. On these HEI GMs, they're super easy to actually have a little tack uh, spot right on them. But typically you go to a coil, you just want the negative side or, or somewhere like that, just some sort of uh, signal. So you might have to Google it, I guess, whatever the car may be, but V8s and all that are pretty easy on these old uh, Chevys. So that's that. Hook that up and test it under the inside. And it's installed. So we're back in the car. I don't know if this will show up or not, but so we'll just get right in the side here. I'll pull the light to kind of see it goes on. So you can, obviously that means the light switch works. So that'll illuminate with the rest of the dash. The ground's clearly working because everything's fine there. And if I start it, so there we go. It's idling 750 or so RPM. I think it works just fine. So, I mean, that's it. Pretty simple little install there. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah. tell all your friends.